Welcome back to another episode of Dank and Rampa, Trey Gabby Avic. Episode 63, y'all yeah, guys, so we're back. Now, in the last video, Celeste, aka Keiko Yasuhiro, has been has been caught as the culprit, so and now she's about to get executed. Well before that, we had to hear this shit. Do you really have to approach Fumi with his plans? But how did you even get him to agree? I can't imagine he would heavily agree to commit murder. Sure, he she relied on her specific specialty line. My specialty. Don't make me laugh. I don't have to lie to get him to agree. Then did you use, you know. I knew you figure out, Kyoko. You're absolutely right. Get a Fumi attack. As my accomplice, I use her. For everyone who's still left, I'll avoid mentioning it by name, but it was the one thing Hafumi and Taka were both super into. Hashimi, is she talking about Oto Ego? Yeah. What, what are you talking about? Don't interrupt. We're in the middle of a very important conversation here. Totally out of the loop, as usual, how's that? Yeah, you gotta learn how to mind your own business, Monaco. Then you're the one who st that stole it. That's right. And you used it to drag Fumi into the plan you come up with. Right again. Last night after we had our meet about how it disappeared, I paid Fumi a little visit. What are you doing here? I was hoping to talk to you alone. It was about what was stolen. You know who did it? It was Taka. He stole it. What? Uh, and I have proof. Would you like to see it? As it turned out, I found the use of a digital camera. I taken, you know what, to Taka's room earlier and took pictures of it there. I deleted the picture as soon as I showed it to Fumi, of course. So it was him. But how did he do it? She was supposed to yell if either of us get close to her. You are correct, which is why Taka forced me to steal it. Please forgive me. He threatened me. Did? He came into my room last night and announced that it was hard for me to even say. He abused me. And he took pictures and said if I don't do as I, he asked, he sh would show them to everyone. So I had no choice. That's a crime. That's an absolute crime. He means... I knew he was going crazy, but... I never imagined how would, he would go that far. It was amazing how completely he bought it. I can't express how enjoyable that was. I'm about to say something I never said before in my life. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna fucking kill him. Wait, please. If you go now, you will be playing right into his hands. I'll get playing use her to escape, and he has made you his target. Keep me. Tara is going to try to kill you. And all so he can keep her. That bastard. Bastard, 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 bastard! Can we allow him to continue with these barbaric acts? Absolutely not. How can I? She. Then, would you like to join me? It just so happens I can't come up with a plan. I have devised the way to reclaim what he has stolen and escape this dreadful school. And with that, it is complete. What are you talking about? Nothing. When we agreed without a second thought, hmm. the effect that that item had on him was remarkable. The power of love, even a love as twisted as that, can still drive people mad. It would see. You disgust me. I have no question for you. 
was that strange costume of movie's creation. It was a real pain in the ass too. I asked him to make something to hide his face and general body size. I had no idea he would make something like that. But it was my fault for picking him in the first place. So why you decided to make me a suspect? Because you're stupid. Oh shit. Your ass got roasted by Celeste, bro. That's it. In that regard, I made the right choice. I'm so glad your stupidity surpassed my every expectation. Life must have been tough on your parents, though. I feel like I could cry. When, but when you were explaining your plan, though, for me, how did you explain the part about him playing dead? What she's asking is, what was Hifumi supposed to do after that? Something he, you had to actually let him live. That simple. After he did his part and pretend to be dead once someone showed up, I told him to say he'd been seriously wounded. He was on the verge of death. He just barely held on. And he really believed that? Well, of course. That wasn't all there was to it. So I explained to Fumi the plan was while well, you were all questioning him about what had happened to him, I was going to murder someone else. At that point, Fumi had an alibi no, and nobody could doubt him. I told him that and he believed it. He's very straightforward, stereotypical. I just matched the lie to the level of opponent. In fact, Fumi ate it up. He believed the lie wholeheartedly right up to the moment of his death. He planned to kill him all along. Of course, there they would have been no point to my plan if the one who pretended to be dead did not end up dead himself. How can human life mean so little to you? That's not an issue. I simply did everything in my power to win. Now you sound like Byakuya. No, he thrives his pleasure from the thrill of the hunt. And in that aspect, when not in life, then what, then what makes you make you take things this far? It was really just for money. Talking about that $10 million money coming off for us, that is a lot of money, it's true. But that's not, but it's, that's not all there is to it. The moment my life began, my only thought was escape. All you've been saying how we have to live, how to accept living here. Honestly, that's a lie. I couldn't take it. I hid it from day one. More than anyone, anyone, anyone else in here. I wanted to get out. Every day was fresh torture. And do you want to know why, huh? Because I had a dream. And accepting a life here would mean what it meant nine. Less than giving up on my dream forever. There was no way I could ever do that. In the underground world of gambling, I risked my life making metaphorical killing. And it, it was all for that dream. And what was that dream of yours? To live in a European castle. Castle? And to gather handsome men from all over the world to serve as my butlers slash bodyguards. I was going to make them dress up like vampires and satisfy my every need. Once I attained that, I would have created a perfectly aesthetic world of dedicants. Living the rest of my life there was my only dream, my only goal. What that's what life is all about. Combined with my own wings, my coin ten million dollars web and I made my dream a reality. So you was killing Hafumi and Taka for for money. Well technically you killed you only killed Hafumi but and Hafumi killed Taka but still. I got right on the edge but fortunately my dream had been shattered scattered to the wind. Still I don't have any regrets. I pursued my dream to the very end. So why would I? You sound so passionate but you were really able to kill your own friends for it. You're asking me 
to feel guilty. That is a pointless endeavor. I think nothing to sacrifice others for my own for my own ends. I feel nothing. That's all there is to me. That's what makes me complete. Isn't it terrifying how different our values are? There's simply no room for understanding. That's what we should be saying. And plus, how can you be so calm? Don't you realize you're about to die right now? Why aren't you scared? My ability to lie is unrivaled. And I take pride in that. And that's not just not just other people. I can't even fool my own emotions. The cautious deceives the unconscious. And that's why you're not scared. Right, I don't fear death. Kill me however you like. But, you know, if I could be reincarnated, if I had a choice then, I think I would like to come back as Marie and Antoinette. What the fuck is that? You just get executed again. Plus smiled then. And when she did, it looked to me like a poor effort to force it. She claimed that she could fool her own feelings. But the statement itself, it must have been her final lie. And that weak fake smile is what betrayed her. You're all done. All right, okay then, let's get rolling. The black can discern a piece and must pay the price. For the ultimate gambler. This. Alright, so it's less about to get executed. Alright. The burning of the Vestals Witch. So this must be like the Joan of Arc style execution, like back in the days where they used to burn motherfuckers to death Only for the fire truck to come. Oh. Oh! And that fire truck ran over Celeste. Fake ass fire, fire, Monokuma. Damn. It's over. Their execution is over. Plus, death is over. Fun fact Celeste is actually the first female to get executed as the culprit. Huh. Celeste killed my friends, so I can't pity her. Also, I can't deny, deny, deny that. At one point, I considered her a friend too. And for him to just come along and isn't it just awful? Someone couldn't cut free from their regrets from the outside world, so more more people had to die. Guys are still young. You still need to place more value in your life. Jeez, 
And here I thought you guys were going to pass the torch of hope to the next generation. You're the one that's forcing us to kill each other in the game. What do you care about hope? I'll throw it in the trash and you just let me out of here. You don't buy me hope, whether you like it or not. And it's my destiny to knock you down one by one. It's sad, yes, but that reality can't be avoided. Don't talk like you're not responsible. How long are you going to make us keep going through this? What do you want from us? God, I'm still sick of you people asking me that. Give it a rest already. Anyway, Kyoko, did I see you get some kind of key type object from Celeste? So, what's the deal with that? What's the matter? I answer your question if you answer mine. What did you do? What did you do to me? What? Answer me. What did you do to my body? Man, jeez. Oh, jeez. What do you mean? What did I do? I have no idea. I don't know anything about it. What was that just now? The mastermind did something to kill Bai. What does that mean? Okay, things are getting kind of awkward. I think it's about time I get out of here. Well? Meanwhile, you guys can just enjoy your school life. If you get lonely, give me a shout. Not that I'll do anything about it, of course. Alright, later, bro. Long coming despair, leaving us all depressed in despair. Although, it wasn't all despair. There's still one small hope. The Kyoko Uncle already mentioned it, but what is that key that Celeste gave you? Most likely, the key to one of the dressing room lockers. What does that mean? Celeste probably hid it there. Oh, sometimes it's easiest to miss what's right beneath your nose. Well then, we better go check. Yup. We left the courtroom and rushed to the dressing room. Approached the dressing room. Kyoko looked back at us and said, I'm going to go on alone from, from here. I want to head back, head to Dine Hall. I'll check with you later. What exactly are you, are you going to. What exactly are you. Why, are you, why exactly are you going alone? Do you even. Do I. Do you even have to ask? As she spoke, she glanced quickly at the valence camera. That's not what I mean. Why, dude? There's still a risk of a spy, you know. Then I'll go to you. Please let me go. Then here arguing will just draw more attention to us. Do you whatever you want, bro. Thank you, Bianca. It's up to you now. I'm going to head to the dining hall, okay? So McCall and Kyoko are going together. Does that mean what I think it means? Good luck, McCall. Girls like her are total pushovers. Then when you show a little backbone. I try to forget what he had said. Had said, I want to head to the dining hall. Leave me and Kyoko there alone. Yeah, we should go. We need to get to that locker. All right, so all right, so we'll do that next episode, yeah, guys. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time.